the foundation of admissibility uh, means some uh, confidence uh, that we have that this is in fact evidence, that this evidence is true, that this is uh, factual, um, that uh, it uh, not just supports the story, but it is itself supported in supporting the story. Um, so, uh, it, you know, it, it, uh, authenticates, it verifies, it, it gives us, um, uh, some assurance that this evidence is trustworthy. Um, now, uh, sometimes this is, uh, related to our chain of evidence and chain of custody, um, the uh, custodial identity and uh, that the custodian is familiar with the requirements uh, for preserving uh, whatever type of evidence this is. Um, there is, um, uh, well, Okay, um, in terms of uh, witness testimony, we haven't gone into that, and, and you know, much less differences between witness of fact and expert witness, but um, uh, when uh, we ask for testimony, we, we want to know what this, what the witness saw, heard directly themselves. Uh, did you see this person take it? Well, no, but so-and-so said that he took it. No, that's no good. That's what is known as hearsay evidence, uh, that, uh, somebody else told me, and so I'm relaying it to you. No, we want to know from the original person. Again, that's, um, part of the, the rules of evidence in terms of the best evidence. The best evidence is the actual witness, um, not, uh, somebody who heard from the actual witness. Every generation, um, you lose integrity, uh, in a sense, in, in regard to, uh, the reliability of testimony. So, you know, if it's something you heard from somebody else in, in certain situations, that may be acceptable when the original witness is dead, um, uh, that sort of thing. But, um, uh, you know, hearsay evidence, by and large, is not acceptable. Well, um, all of our, uh, all of our digital, uh, evidence is, you know, it's primarily business documents, um, and all business documents are uh, considered to be hearsay, unless proven otherwise, almost, um, that, yes, um, we have a piece of paper, uh, with a description of an agreement and somebody's, uh, name written in ink on it, um, but is that an actual agreement? No, that is evidence about an agreement. Um, so we, uh, all of our stuff, you know, I, all of our digital evidence is, is not actual evidence of the event. It's evidence about the event. And it's, uh, you know, it has to be supported by other types of testimony. Um, so, you know, what were our, our procedures um, in recording this, uh, this is a, you know, an audit log, um, you know, what were our policies and procedures with regard to logs? Were these procedures followed in this case? Can we, can we verify that? We may have to have, um, you know, additional witness testimony to say, yes, you know, our procedures were followed or in the case, you know, they weren't, 
why not? Why did we vary? Um, and was there any possibility that because we varied the, uh, the procedures, because we um, changed uh, uh, from our policy and, and, and used another procedure, um, could that mean that uh, this supposed evidence is, is now unreliable? Um, so, you know, how, uh, how do we work this? Um, the, uh, precautions against errors that, you know, are probably part of, of the procedures here. Um, you know, how, how effective are they? What are they in detail so that we, uh, can make a determination of whether or not they would be, um, effective in preventing uh, modification, editing, um, whether they accurately reflect the events. Um, uh, are there reasons why portions of the media is missing? You know, the, the famous, was it 11 minutes or 18 minutes in, in Watergate? Um, and uh, again, you know, what were our, our normal policies and procedures for collecting the evidence? And, and was this followed in, in this particular case? Um, if uh, normal procedures were bypassed for some reason, what was the reason? How were they bypassed in detail? So that again, an assessment can be made, you know, was, uh, was there a vulnerability at this point? Um, that uh, indicates that we um, may not have the full story. So all of this goes to supporting the foundation of admissibility, that yes, um, this evidence is in fact evidence. It is supporting uh, what we say happened. It is supporting the story that we are are telling in terms of what happens. Um, we need that foundation of admissibility. And, and the chain of custody is a, a big part of that.